Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Guido Zambarda. I'm a Microsoft Certified Senior Software Developer at PSCS.com. And these are my social handles. And also, if you want, check out my blog. Now, starting with my presentation. If it, okay, it works. Uh, I will start uh, setting some context. So um, for this sample, I want to uh, introduce you the login control from the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. And to do so, uh, um, my situation is that I have a SharePoint framework solution, which uh, uh, has uh, installed, uh, installed the Microsoft Graph Toolkit with the uh, NPM uh, command. And uh, with that, I want to display uh, a user avatar or user details uh, and also some customized uh, um, flyout commands that I will show you. So um, starting with the demo, this is my uh, demo environment where uh, you can see I have uh, my uh, multiple instances of the login control. And uh, uh, first of all, I want to uh, show you a little bit of a, bit, a little bit detail about uh, uh, the um, behavior of the login control. So uh, I will press uh, F5 to refresh the page, and uh, you will see that there are multiple uh, uh, login buttons. Uh, so here. I hope you can see those. OK, uh, because uh, I'm uh, inside the SharePoint uh, uh, site, so the login control uh, intercepts uh, the um, logged in user, and uh, it automatically logged me in. So just for the sake of uh, uh, showing you, I will refresh once again, uh, and you can see the sign in buttons. After that, uh, we have, uh, uh, as I said, multiple instances of the login control. And I um, split those uh, um, by type. So we have uh, the minimal usage instance, which is up here. And uh, it will show the user avatar, the username, and also the email. And this is the, the default behavior of the control. Also, you can click on the control, and uh, a flyout opens. And uh, in this layout, uh, you have uh, by default uh, the sign out, uh, the sign out uh, button, and also the same uh, um, user information. After that, you can, uh, uh, with this instance, uh, show the presence of the user, which is not currently available for my demo user right now. But otherwise, you will see the classical icon, the green icon, red icon, etc. And um, proceeding, we have the uh, avatar display, which displays only the uh, the user avatar. So if you have a little space, uh, you can use this instead of the uh, um, full uh, control. You can also have uh, the compact display control, which uh, displays the user avatar and also the username. We have the full display, which is the same as the minimal usage because the default behavior of the uh, login control is the full display. We have uh, uh, custom data, which, uh, as you can see, I'm a ninja, uh, and uh, everyone should have a best friend ninja. And uh, <laughs> uh, this is just uh, for the sake of uh, demonstrating it. Uh, you can uh, display whatever information you want here. It's just uh, an override of the default behavior of the control. Also, we have the full custom customization, where, uh, uh, as you can see, I totally replaced uh, the uh, avatar and name of the user with uh, some custom text uh, and icons. And also, uh, if I click, uh, the flyout uh, panel is a little bit different because I customized the, the buttons, so the, um, the flyout command bar, and uh, also the uh, flyout uh, user detail, which shows uh, the, the user avatar, the username, but also the user job role and uh, the office location. And that's pretty cool, I think. And uh, OK, and the last one is the, sorry, not the last one. Uh, I missed one. The customize layout commands uh, is just for showing you that you can customize uh, only a part of the flyout. So in this case, I customized the, the flyout uh, commands and not the flyout uh, uh, user uh, uh, display. And uh, uh, for the sake of uh, demonstrating this, uh, I also uh, 
intercepted uh, the click events uh, on these icons. So I can, uh, for example, I can add a friend or also I can send a message uh, to the user. And uh, for this time for real, the last uh, um, instance is uh, um, login events uh, because I registered multiple events uh, on the login. It doesn't show anything uh, um, in the UI, but if I go to the console, I can see that a login completed event has been uh, registered. And also, if I click on the sign out, uh, a sign out, a logout uh, as event uh, as uh, initiated. So um, let me switch to the code so I can show you how it is achieved. And uh, this is my solution. And hey, Guido, in, could uh, you could you zoom in just a little bit so it'll be better for the oh, recording? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Awesome. Thank you. No, no uh, worries. Is this okay? Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. And uh, in the um, main uh, web part file, uh, I have uh, to uh, import uh, the SharePoint provider and also the providers uh, from the at Microsoft MGT SPFX uh, uh, NPM package to uh, initialize the to initialize. Uh, the provider as a SharePoint provider in with the context of my web part, so uh, the the user can uh, automatically log in uh, with the SharePoint uh, credentials. Also, switching uh, to sorry, okay, here I am. Switching to the component. Here are the the multiple instances I showed you, and uh, as you can see, the minimal usage is just uh, the login tag. So with this, uh, you can show the user avatar, the username, uh, and also the user uh, email. After that, we have the sh show presence, where uh, I defined only the show presence uh, property, which will show or not uh, the, the little icon, uh, the green, uh, red, uh, yellow, or non-present uh, uh, icons. And uh, here we have the uh, three samples for uh, the login view property, which, uh, as you can see, uh, specifying only avatar, compact, or full is a totally uh, different behavior on the page. And uh, uh, just a quick reminder, the full behavior is the default one. Then we have the custom data, uh, <clears throat> the custom data um, instance where I uh, created a custom uh, object, uh, which, uh, is, which has to be um, of type iDynamic person, which uh, is like a, a, a container that can uh, uh, contain, uh, <laughs> sorry for the word joke, and uh, it can contain uh, one or multiple of the properties that you have uh, in these uh, interfaces uh, by the Microsoft Graph. And proceeding, uh, we have the uh, full, cust full customization uh, instance, where I define the four templates uh, that I want to customize. And those are the signed in button content, uh, which is uh, the, um, the default uh, UI uh, com component uh, displayed uh, to the user when the user is already signed in. We have uh, the send out button content, uh, which is uh, in, uh, in the opposite, uh, the button that you, or the content that you uh, can see when the user is not logged in. Also, we have the flyout commands and flyout <clears throat> person details, which are, um, as I said before, the flyout commands is the upper part of the flyout panel, and also the, the other part is uh, uh, the um, more center part. And to do this, uh, I created a method down here, which just uh, um, which switch uh, uh, the proposed controller uh, based on the template. So when I uh, have to show the user was already signed in, I have to check my infos and also the icon to open the, <clears throat> the flyout. When I have uh, uh, the user not logged in, I will show uh, some, simply uh, an icon button to enable the user to sign in. And also here we have uh, 
my two um, commands for the flyout commands. So the add friend and send message. And at, for at last, we have the person details, which shows the user image and also the display name, job title, and office location. And for the last, uh, <clears throat> sorry, again, not the last, but uh, the second last, we have the customized layout commands, which shows uh, that you can customize only a part of the login control. So uh, to do that, uh, you can have you have to define uh, which part of the uh, control you want to uh, override and customize. And in this case, it's just uh, the layout commands uh, part. And then we have uh, the, the login event uh, uh, instance, which, uh, as you can see, has multiple possible events uh, where you can subscribe and do uh, everything you need uh, before, uh, for example, the login, or maybe you want to um, check uh, something when uh, the login failed uh, or uh, send some emails and tracing options uh, and so on. So. Um, switching back to my slides, uh, just a couple of references. You have uh, the, um, the, possible, the possibility to check the official documentation if you want to uh, discover more, because I covered only a part of the possible uh, properties of the login control. And also, if you want to check out uh, the code I just showed you, uh, you can check it out uh, on my GitHub repo. And uh, that's it.